Throughout my Blender journey, I've always worked with the multi-resolution modifier, and there was something that I couldn't always get right with it, and that is baking the high poly onto the low poly. So I used to think that, you know, once you modeled your mesh out, so I'll show you what it looks like in edit mode. Here's the just base mesh. You know, I don't have any spikes modeled in here. I did all of that in sculpting and there's actually an issue with doing that. So without having that topology real, everything in the multi-resolution that you do here is just pure sculpting. So when I bake this information, this high poly information onto that low poly base mesh, mesh that I showed you, these spikes will look really strange and very odd. So because of that, I'm going to have to retopologize this model. So here's an example of my old Carno. Um, I'm going to cut myself a bit of a break. You know, we all start somewhere. Um, so here is my, uh, you know, model after I have applied that multi-resolution. And again, I wasn't really sure exactly what I was doing. Um, I just know that the spikes were looking strange and they weren't mapping out correctly with the normal map. So I thought, you know, if I just apply that shape, um, to the multi-res, then it should be fine. So what I mean by applying the shape is when you go into your multi-res and you scroll down to shape, you can hit apply base. Now this will apply this sculpt information as best as possible to the base mesh. But the problem with that is I do not have enough topology to support those spikes. You could see there's no extrusions that are happening. There's nothing that can withhold that uh, topology information. So again, just something to think about. The multi-res is awesome if you want to sculpt. If you pre-make your model and you're going to add in some sort of spikes or any sort of detail that extrude past the base model mesh, then you're probably going to have to retopologize in that area. So just be aware of that. It took me, you know, far too many um, models to figure that out. So I thought I would just share some information that I've learned. Okay, so before I officially end this video, I just wanted to give you a real example of what it will look like when you bake something that doesn't have that topology information modeled into, say, your mesh or your object, and if you just bake it as a normal map. So I just baked my um, multi-resolution and this is the result I got. And it's just this area here that I unwrapped. I didn't unwrap the entire uh, dyno. So you can see this here, it's very flat. And I know in games like Arc, I think they just do something very simple like this. They don't actually model in that topology. But I just wanted to show you that um, you will get a different result than um, if you actually model that in. And referring back, to my other Carno, what I had done to compensate for the lack of topology for better words, um, the thing I did was apply the base. And again, that will disturb the actual topology of my Carno. So if I went into my modifier and let's just say I got out of this and went into multi-resolution, re-enabled that. So you see all this, this is the, I have it on uh, viewport three just because I'm recording. But if I went into shape and I applied that base, so I just disabled my viewport display. And now you can see that with the shape applied, everything is super jaggedy. It's trying to replicate the, again, the high poly details in the sculpt. And I just don't have enough topology to do that. And that's what I did in my other one. So just kind of two different things happening. I just wanted to let you know and kind of clear that up a little bit. So let me know if you have any questions and I will see you in the next one. So take care.